just got dark a few minutes ago. I'm done. Restacking the firewood out back and chopping some more firewood. I got a half day off or I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Better than half a day off. Checking out Northwest Pipe Smoker Tom. I was checking out Tom's uh, last video. He had a load of wood brought in. And a lot of wood. I have to have a lot of wood for up there that would heat it all winter. Gorgeous spread he's got up there. Gorgeous. Uh, secluded, private with all those bushes and everything. Man, it's nice. Northwest Pipe Smoker Ranch. Told him I said, said if I was up there, I'd bring a pipe or two or five up and help you cut some wood or ant it with some beer. He wasn't sure how much wood we get cut. <laughs> Taking a break and pick up, go pick up the wife, the boss, here in a little while. She's up serving up some coffee. Go up there, get a get an americano. Do a little reading. I see that old uh, Dave Peterson. Trying his hand in some new little pipe making. Looked pretty good. I was surprised he was able to turn them out that quick. Started one one day and got it done and showed everybody and put them up on uh, virtualsmokinglounge.com and his his uh, little side business. See if anybody might be interested in buying them. He didn't have a price up. He said he's not sure if he's gonna sell them. But if he does, he's not sure if he's gonna put a price on them or just do the bidding, the old bidding. Ebay, VSL Ebay. I'd buy one of his pipes. I'd like to get one of his refurbished pipes. That's that's what kind of handiwork I want to get from David. I want to get one of his refurb pipes. I learned how to do all my refurbing from, from him on his videos that he had before he, before he got off YouTube and then got back on. Fun. I've done, I've done about 75% of my pipes are refurb pipes. Smoking a little, uh, still smoking on that Abingdon, GLP's Abingdon. It's different. It's got a little kick to it. Uh, Brebia Lindo, Lido, Brebia Lido, Rude Briar. A little stubby. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark out here. Wish I could have a beer. I drive though. I can have one beer. But I don't have any beer. This stuff. This is like my fourth bowl. Me and old Toby, uh, old Toby, uh, met up at uh, just for him here in Springfield, Missouri. And he tried some of this. He likes it. He really likes the Latakia. I was checking out uh, 
the Hackert Boswell Duluth road trip that my man, one man smoke and Mr. Uh, Mr. Pipe Smoker and Pipe Guy, Rye, Baps all took. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. They got a bunch of bunch of videos up on their sites. One man spoke's got about four, three or four, fifteen minute videos. I'm not sure about this stuff yet. It's not bad. It's not it's not bad. It's not great. I'm still kind of getting into the English tobaccos, so my palate's pretty pretty new. Still haven't seen Pipe Affairs back on yet. He said he was gonna get back on after the World Series. I haven't seen him in his garage drinking a beer, drinking a dead guy ale, puffing on an Ardor. I did get a, a tin the other day from just for him. It was in the back. Um, all dusty and nasty. I think it's been there for two to four years at least. The owner who took it over said that's been here. He said that's well aged. <laughs> I said how old is it? He said that's well aged. Hopefully it's not sawdust. But it was a uh, fern down, black and tan. They also had a fern down. I had something else next to it. It was real dusty. So I bought, I bought that one, I bought the black and tan, I'll try it here one of these times. I'm trying to, trying to get this Abingdon out, I'm trying to work it out and see what I think of it, and if not, maybe ship some off to you guys out there, if anybody's interested, let me know. Ship some samples out. Tom, remember, uh, if he sends me his address, um, I'll send him a little sampler platter. Get some to old Toby. He's always given me a ton of tobacco. It's mild, but it gets stronger as you smoke it. You do get a buzz. You do get a little nicotine in it, too. Mm. I'm watching a little Acacia vet. A C A C I A V E T. Acacia vet. Acacia vet. He's up in upstate New York. I'm trying to. I'm planning on getting probably a pound of uh, McClellan's AM pipe. I, I tried some of that on a sample and I was really digging that. I'll probably try to um, send him a message, see if he wanted to maybe swap out a little AM pipe for some PM pipe. We'll labor it, we'll labor it a t-shirt when we send it to I guess it's not going across border, so it doesn't matter. I didn't get them hacker pipes. That guy's hitting it big. He's hitting it big. And that's good. I should have bought one of his pipes a long time ago. I wonder how many of us are saying that now. But that's good. That's good. Good USA made pipes. Send me one if he wants to. Call up old Jake, get the one man smoke special. Got some neat pipes, neat pipes. Kind of look like the old, you know, stubby, custom built, but with a 
with the with an update, kind of like a custom build with this 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 decade, you know, this this time era. Fat, short, stubby, saddle bit. Big bowl. Good for Englishes. Good for a big bowl of Balkan Supreme or Abingdon or just a big fat bowl of in English. I found that the Englishes need to be need to be in a good fat bowl. Get a big wad of tobacco in them. Get that taste. Get that real good taste out of them. This forms a real, real fine uh, ash. Everybody's doing all right out there. Tom, if I could, man, I'd be up there chopping that wood with you. Gorgeous place up there. Uh, gorgeous place. Dave Peterson had that video of the first snow. Then like the next day or two days after, he's out, out there in a short sleeve polo, sun shining up in Michigan. Sounds like Missouri weather. You wait 15 minutes, it'll change. How does Tom talk with that pipe in his mouth? I think I've asked this question. I don't know. I can't do it. Backcountry, you got to get on there, do some more bids. I ain't seen Backcountry pipe on there since uh, that recommendation. And I flipped over there, watched a little Brook Cheris. Veterans Day today. Thank you to all our veterans, all our military. For everything they've been doing, they've done. Take care of them when they get back. We gotta take care of them when they get back. All right, guys. Hope everybody's doing all right back there. Stay warm this winter. Keep the fire stoked and the pipe stoked. Take care.